Dr. Raj Sherman and the Alberta Liberal Party are prepping for an election campaign. We got a 30% high school dropout rate, the lowest post-secondary participation rate in the country, the highest tuition fees. Is that part of this plan? We got to lower tuition, get rid of student debt, and you know what? Someone's going to have to pay for this stuff. Many issues to promote. In Sherman's view, Alberta health care is among the most challenging with expanding issues. We had about 3,300 beds in Edmonton, and the beds were cut down to 1,800 overnight. So suddenly we had this fantastic staff that we trained, and they lost their job. So they had to leave the country to get a job. When they cut those beds, those family doctors left the hospital. So the specialists fulfilled that void. And now suddenly you have a specialist doing bread and butter general medicine, billing ex expensive specialist fees, but not doing specialist work. He says other health care problems compounded over the following years. Well, the biggest issue for in health care is access to care. And it's access at every point of the health system. Uh, access to see a family doctor. 20% of Albertans, at least 20%, don't have one. And if you have one, you have to wait a long time to see one. Uh, access to emergency care when you're very sick, access to a 911 call, access to surgery or your tests. That's the issue. Now, once you gain access, it's actually world-class care. It's great care that you get in this province. There are about 100,000 working in the system. I recently talked to uh, one of the managers yesterday. We have 200 fewer nurses today than we had a couple of years ago. So we actually need more staff with a higher skill set. Uh, and, and yeah, the staff are working extraordinarily hard. Uh, they've been quite burnt out recently. In fact, the most recent survey in December showed that the staff morale is at about 35%. For doctors, it's about 25%. And there is an ongoing and well-documented issue with emergency room wait times. Sherman is a practicing emergency room doctor. Because the seniors are plugging up acute care hospital beds, that results in delays of surgery. The people who are really sick sitting in an emergency department that should be up, upstairs, they're sitting an extra two days in emergency hallways. And that's why the ambulances are lined up outside the door, and that's why the waiting rooms are full. If the seniors weren't plugging up our hospital beds, people would actually get their surgeries in emergency care on time. It's that simple. So if you actually want to fix health care, don't build more hospitals. Invest more in the community and community care in family doctors, nurses, nurse practitioners, and investing in the seniors' care in, in their homes. And uh, we need a bit more accountability. We have too many managers managing managers in the system, and we need more frontline staff, investments in the front lines. These are the issues. As you know, we've spent a lot of time juggling uh, deck chairs in administration, and a lot of political interference into the system. I believe if you give staff accountability measures, you give them respect, they know what the solutions are, allow them to fix the system. He says part of Alberta health care problems would be helped if more Albertans possessed healthier lifestyles, though the system itself requires intelligent repair. Tim Dancy, Shaw TV Capital Region.